Good morning, all. How are we this morning? Good morning, Russell. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Good morning. everyone. Good morning, Russell. Good morning, everyone. Peace be with you all. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Father, for a wonderful week gone by. For our health and strength, for life, for all your goodness that has poured into our life this week. We thank you, Lord. We have lived out of that goodness. We have seen success. We have seen favor. We have seen love. We have seen friendship. We have seen abundance. We want to thank you, Father. And as we begin this our weekend, the start of this day, this Saturday, we come to you, Father, with thanksgiving in our heart to talk to you, to spend this first part of our day to you and offer it to you in prayer, the first fruits of this weekend, O oh Lord. We want to be with you, to hear from you, to learn from you. And so we begin this, our day and our prayer in your name, our God, our Father. The God who has many names and many dimensions of him. We call upon those dimensions, depending on the need in our prayer. We know you by all those names, Father, through history in the Bible. But this morning, we simply want to know you as our Father, our Daddy, and our friend. And we pray in the name of your Son, Jesus. The only son you had and you gave of everything that you had. And he gave of everything that he had. That we might be saved. We might not be cast into the fire. Forgotten and lost. But there might be a way, a bridge back to the father. He is that bridge. The good shepherd who gave his life. The Lamb of God, the King of Kings, the Lord of Hosts. We thank you, Jesus. And you gave us your own spirit, your own presence to be with us at all times, guiding us into all truth, that spirit of truth, the scepter of your power who is our advocate, our father and our friend, the giver. Humble in all his ways, ever patient with us, never giving up on us, but always working with us even through the worst of our times. Even if we fall back into the pit, it is he who shows us the way back out. We pray in his name, the name of the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Father, for blessing us with the gift of life, of health, of strength, of peace that we have in our heart. There are challenges this day, Father. We carry the joy, the joy of hope that you have given us everything that we need, including your own presence to come out of all those challenges, to use our spoken word, the word from your book of law, to speak Jesus himself into our lives so that every storm that is in there must tremble in his presence when he is present in our lives. And if he is in the middle of it, that storm must leave. Father, yesterday you taught us about forgiveness. You taught us about the barriers to your blessings flowing into our lives. 
how to get rid of all those blocks through that powerful deliverance that you offered us, Father. We thank you for that gift of forgiveness, your mercy that is renewed every single day for us. No matter how grave our sins, you are ever willing to come to us with your arms stretched open, running to us. The minute we turn around and make that decision and not rely on our emotions of pain, of hurt, of anger, of distress, but we make that decision to forgive. This morning, Father, we want to move to that next stage from forgiveness to reconciliation. Once we have made that decision to forgive and some of us are still struggling with that decision, Father, we obtain that grace for these, our brothers, our sisters this day. That with your help, and through your grace, they might make that decision to forgive, to overcome all the pain, all that hurt, the loss that they have incurred in their lives, on their person, on their emotions, on their body. And to stand above it and to make that decision to forgive. And forgiveness is different from reconciliation. Reconciliation is its next step. Where we look to rebuild that trust, rebuild that relationship. And we look to come back together in the same friendship, the same relationship that existed before that trouble. Or make it even better than it was. A relationship based on a good understanding and respect of each other. We make our relationship with God right by sinning no more. By gaining a proper understanding of the sins that took us away from him. And refraining from those rejecting them, turning away. We reconcile with others whom we have hurt. By avoiding that action. And by operating in love towards them. We reconcile with those who hurt us. By giving them a second opportunity. Especially the ones that are closest to us that hurt us the more, Lord. It is ever so hard to forgive those that have betrayed our trust. But as we make that decision to forgive, we also make that decision to reconcile with them. Because they are family. Because they are close to us. Because they are a close friend. A husband, a wife. A parent, a child, we want to focus on restoring those broken relationships, Lord, through this gift of reconciliation that you pour into each of our lives this day. And when that trust is deeply broken, this restoration can be a process. It can take time, but with your grace, Father, we build our strength over that time. And look towards you, who even while you were dying on the cross said, Father, forgive them. And I forgive them. And then you came back to us. Even the apostles ran away. But you came back to them. And you rebuilt that relationship, Lord. And upon that relationship does your church stand today. You want us to live in that love. Seeking your kingdom first. In your righteousness. As Jesus said in Matthew 6.33. Operating in love at all times. And then in all these things. When we seek your kingdom first Lord. All these things. Your blessings. Shall be added unto us. We pray in a special way this morning. For those who find it hard to forgive. 
for those who find it difficult, nearly impossible to pick up that phone and reconcile. We pray that they receive that grace to make this decision in faith today, to release themselves from this bondage so that all barriers to them walking under your open heavens be removed in the name of Jesus. The courage to contact that person that has hurt them. The courage to contact that person that they have hurt. Speak to them, ask for forgiveness, say, I'm sorry, I love you. I miss you. I want you back. Father, let your grace rain down this morning. As we connect with you in spirit, we ask for that reign of your grace to pour in each of our lives and the lives of those we pray for. The lives of those that hear this prayer. The lives of those that are recipient of this prayer made by anyone. We ask for that grace to rain down on each of them, Father. As we now connect with you in spirit and pray in the gift that you have given us, O Holy Spirit, the gift of tongues. It is you who stirs up our little pond. It is you who brings out that courage, that boldness in us to take this step, to move ahead and free ourselves from that bondage. We open ourselves to you, Lord. We surrender ourselves to you and welcome you into our lives so that by your movement in our lives, Lord, just as you hovered the waters that were void and formless and the earth then took shape, let that same goodness hover over our lives this day, Lord. So that our next steps ahead, the life that you have planned for us ahead, as you have said in Jeremiah 29, 11, let that life take shape. Let there be that light in our life. As we now connect with you in spirit, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> 
Father, as we break all those barriers through the power of that forgiveness that you are pouring out into these lives, Lord. We speak to every situation of dead bones in their lives. In the name of Jesus. We speak breath into every dead situation there. Let them walk under open heavens. Let them be blessed in your name. Let us be blessed in your name, Jesus. The name above all names. So that every dead situation comes to life. Every dead bones that has failed, let them go back. And turn that failure into success. Everything that has not worked in their lives. Every miracle they hope for. Let that miracle touch. Let those miracles touch their lives this day. Let every bronze gate be broken down asunder. Let every door that the Father has made for them, for their lives, as he promised in Jeremiah 29, 11, let that door be opened by the power of prophecy this morning. We walk in your favor, Father. We walk in the grace, in the mercy that you pour into our lives. We hold your hand, Father. And we thank you for all that you are doing in our lives this day. In the name of Jesus, by the rod of the Spirit, by your power. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, o Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Today, even as we were praying, I seen two types of visions. The first vision was a wound. And uh, as the hands were applying medicines to that wound, yet that wound wasn't healing. But yet it was oozing and festering. The second uh, vision that I seen was a plant. Two hands were nurturing that plant and uh, was trying to, uh, was watering it and uh, um, accordingly, uh, but then after some days that plant dies and dries up. And I sense the Lord trying to tell each one of us about healing the root cause rather than uh, healing the surface of it. And the word of God that was impressed on my heart was from Hebrews 12, 15. See to it that no one fails to obtain the grace of God, that no root of bitterness springs up and causes trouble, and by it many become defiled. Amen. Thank you. Jesus. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Today I got Matthew 4, 16 and 17. The people who sat in darkness have seen a great light. And for those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light has dawned. From that time, Jesus began to preach, saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As we were praying this morning, I saw a vision of a little child holding uh, the railing in the balcony. And I did not understand what it was, but the successive visions led me onto this word called support. Because immediately after that, I saw creepers growing over a support that we see in the gardens, those, uh, I do not know what it's called, but you can see them uh, taking the support of that entire railing or that mesh type of thing over which it grows. And uh, again, uh, while we were sitting in silence, I could repeatedly get this word support. And I was led on to Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10, where our Lord says, fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. The scripture for today is Luke 15. Chapter. The lost coin. Or suppose a woman who has 10 silver coins loses one of them. What does she do? She lights a lamp, sweeps her house, and looks carefully everywhere until she finds it. When she finds it, she calls her friends and neighbors together and says to them, I am so happy I found the coin. I lost. Let us celebrate. In the same way, I tell you, the angels of God rejoice over one sinner who repents. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Father, we thank you for that grace that you are pouring into our lives as you speak to each one individually. You are showing us the way ahead. You are showing us the way to reconcile with this lost coin. That person is so valuable to us, which is why it hurts so bad. And we know in our hearts that we care about that person. We obtain that strength this morning, Lord, to connect back, to contact them. The ones that we have hurt. And for those that have hurt others, we also pray for the ones that are hurt, that are wounded. That we don't keep scratching that wound, that it keeps oozing out. But look to the grace, your hands, Father, that are medicating it, healing it, so that this relationship that you have given us, that person that you have given us in our lives, we do not lose. But through your grace working in both of us, the one who hurts and the one who is hurt, through your grace working in both at the same time, that your love 
take its place in between and join these back together. And where your presence is, Father, there is no opportunity for Satan to sow discord in between. We make this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. And because we believe, we say, Amen. 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 And let the Amen. mercy and the peace and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and his favor that follows that when we surrender it all to him and we make that decision to step ahead. Let that favor be multiplied in each of our lives this day. So that as we step out, let us be a blessing to everyone we come in contact with in the name of Jesus. Be blessed and have a wonderful day, each one. Bless you too, Russell. Thank you, Russell. Thank you. 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 Thank you.